Chin. Get toothpaste. Stop it. Ow, stop it. Are you forgiving, by the way? <laughs> what, telling it like it is? Thanks. All right, well, how come the store detective had a description of me? Because they need to justify stopping you. Wrong. All right, whatever, but you're wrong. Mm. I'm more bothered about Tyrone, anyway. Yeah, well, he's completely whipped. Yeah, we can't just sit back and watch it turn him into a Billy No Mate. I, I tried to have a word with him, he just went all weird. I'll have to say out. Your mission, Tommy, if you choose to accept it, is to organise a lad's night out. Mm. Hmm? Yeah, I suppose it'd be Kirsty proof. Genius idea. Though you do say so yourself. Yeah. See ya. See ya. Bye. If you'd gone yesterday as agreed... What is wrong with you today? I'm, I'm all out of kilter with your wishy-washy arrangements. And I'm all out of patience, so stop mithering. Shelves are hardly bare. Oh, there's only three packets of chicken crisps left. Oh, fingers crossed we don't have a run on them before I come back from Thole Sailors. When will that be, exactly? You know I can't answer that till I spoke to Tina. Oh, God, silly me. Of course you must check with young Tina, see if she minds you using your own vehicle for urgent company business. Give me I mean, she might have some urgent errands of her own, you know, a trip to bargain booze with the stereo on at full pelt or a three o'clock appointment with a tattoo artist. Is it any skin off your nose who I lend my car to? Very much so. I don't like fluid arrangements. I don't know what to do with them. Tina is borrowing the car lunchtime-ish for a couple of hours. When she's dragged herself out of her pit. Hey, she's a good worker. You lay off. <laughs> Your car's not the only thing she's taking for a ride. No point asking who's stumping up for all the petrol. Yes, love. Just this time. Oh. <laughs> if I buried this toffee hammer in his skull, any chance of diminished responsibility? I'll see what I can do. Oh, charming. One thirty, love, please. Oh, and, um... Two packets of chicken crisps. Ty's favourite. Actually... Better make that smoky bacon. Don't want to cause any trouble. Thank you. Sophie! Sophie! Look, hear me out. I am sorry. I could cut my tongue out. No, don't make me stop Wrong, officer. Can you switch off the engine and step out of the vehicle, please, mate? What on earth have I done? Three miles over the speed limit. 33 in a 30 zone. Three measly miles? This is a built-up area, hence there's a cap of 30 miles an hour. Even so, do you usually pull people over for that? We take speeding very seriously, Mrs Sullivan. Well, so do I, officer. And I have a great respect for the law. But it's tricky sometimes to stay bang on 30. Surely there's a little bit of leeway. The computer system's down, so I can't check your details. You'll need to produce your documents down at the Weatherfield Police Station within the next seven days. Late friend Derek and I used to have the occasional lads' night out. <laughs> it seldom ended well. Did you get into fights, Norris? Oh, no, no. Chinatown. <laughs> Midnight banquets, acid reflux for a week. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, how come Tyrone's off the leash? Oh, oh she's what? possessive, is she? Oh, just a bit. Who said the law is an ass? What on earth's happened? I have just been stopped, no, pulled over for exceeding the speed limit by three miles. You mess it. No. 33 no miles? I mean... Three break-ins. There was a mugging in the precinct. I know, I tried all that. He wasn't having it. Unbelievable. Look, can I have a look? A speeding fine and three points. Oh, for heaven's sake. And I have to take my documents down to police station. Oh, the, the law gives asses a bad name. I can't believe they've picked on you. Oh, ignore these tears, love. I'm angry as much as anything. My granny had been oh, <laughs> David told him that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> boy. Last night out. Sorry, love. Got roped into it. Never would. As long as you keep it polite. Go on, Ty. Give us another one of your rubbish jokes. Yeah. Who's your last one? got speeding yeah. today. The guy who invented wind. Three miles over the limit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. She was speeding. She was speeding. But I was borrowing that car at dinner time, so it easily could have been me. And I was definitely doing 35 on Tile Street. Oh, you like living dangerously, don't you? See, I've got a horrible feeling that you've got something to do with it. <laughs> 
Not this again. Is it? Lola, I was just locking up. All right, I wanted to tell you that I fronted up Officer Nutjob. Oh, you did. Yeah, and I told her I knew she was behind it. Oh, Tina, not again. Well, she is, Rita. I could tell by her reaction. You can't be certain. She more or less admitted it. Well, which was it? More or less? But I know she was behind it. And I'm in the crossfire again. Well, yeah. Well, no, because I'm not having it. <sighs> I don't know what to believe. I was doing 33. I don't think he made it up. Are you going to the cop shop tonight? Yeah, I just want to get it over with. Right, well, I'm coming with you. You're working! I'm going to have a word with Stella. There's no way you're going on your own. <sighs> My round? Uh, no, nah, wouldn't be right. What? Oh, we're getting off after these anyway. King's head. Yeah, King's head, King's arms, lamb and flag. You've got it all planned. Well, don't have an itinerary. Yeah, I love the lamb and flag, mate. It's got the best duke ever. Well, you and me'll have to go one night. Yeah, yeah, you'd love it. We're well, resting people in there. Never stop for a pint, though. Do you like arresting people? Love it. I hate the paperwork. Excuse me. I do know what day it is. Yeah, so what do you do? You meet up with your mates, do you jazz? And the last thing you watch your girlfriend do. It's not like that. Ty, you are mate. Just leave me out, yeah, we're, we're talking. So we said person with the lowest score gets him in, that's gonna be you then. Yeah, because you won't have any score. Yeah, I get that. I'll get him in, it's fine. Right, he's losing anyway. He's losing his freedom if he's not careful. Mm. But you want to get this again. Have a good time. Well, I don't want you thinking I'd rather be with them than you. <laughs> You're gonna, though. I can tell. Years I've been driving. Never had a single conviction. No, you're not gonna get one now. Right, cool. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'd like to make a complaint, please. See, my friend got stopped for all the Hang on, love. Hang on. If you'd like to just sit down, I'll see to you in a minute. Okay. Well, why can't you see us now? Because. i just take a seat, please. <laughs> We've already been waiting 20 minutes. Is that all? Records three hours. Nope. Mr. High and Mitre isn't ready for us yet. Well, when he is, don't feel you've to stick up for me. All I want is to get through this and get home. But it's not right. Peter. Even so, I've just had enough. You sure you don't want more? I don't know. Thanks, Della. Ta. Oh, cheers, Ty. More than you for stopping him playing. You can come again. Thanks. We are moving on soon, yeah? Yeah, moving on, definitely. As long as someone hasn't decided they're not coming. No, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, I'll be going then. Like I said, enjoy yourself. All right, babe, but listen, I promise I won't be late anyway because I'm... It's nine pounds twenty change. Cheers. Oh, all right then. Licence, insurance, um, MOT. Right, the thing is, she was doing 33 in a 30 mile zone. 33. I mean, come on. You're not telling me that's normal. That you can get done for that. I mean, all right, all right, a warning. But she shouldn't have to be made to come in here like she committed some terrible crime. The date of birth on this, is it correct? It is, yes. Why do you want to know that? It's all right. No, it's not, Rita. They shouldn't be treating me this way. When was the last time you renewed your licence? Oh, goodness me, yeah. <laughs> Awfully long time ago. There's something I need to check. I won't be a minute. See, that just proves it. Proves what? That is a setup with Kirsty behind it. First, she gets one of her mates to book you, and then she's got him. Keeper is waiting and waiting and waiting. I suggest we just walk out. What, without my driving license? All right, we'll wait for that, and then we walk, because we'll just be made fools of here, Rita. So what are you going to do? Where to next? King's Head? Oh, I can get a bit rough in there. Yeah, it will do, the minute we get there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, fellas, but this is where I bail out. You go on, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, come on, Ty. We're only doing this for you. No, you're not. Uh, yeah, we are, actually. Stop you turning into an old married man before your time. So come on. Well, maybe I wouldn't mind turning into an old married man. Well, I wouldn't. Just don't think there's much chance of it. Look, Ty, she's not going anywhere. She'll be there when you get back. Apart from I'm not going to get back because I'm not going in the first place. I'm going to... Hey, don't forget to wipe your feet before you go in. I bet you knew I wouldn't go with them. Well, I thought that at first, but then I thought, oh, no, he's going to. And that's when you got mad? I didn't get mad. Well, you don't look right happy about it. Ty, I'm not trying to keep you from your friends. And I won't let them keep me from you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> do you want a beer? No, neither do you. You've had enough. Yeah, you're right. I suppose I have. 
Now, Mr. Sullivan, the problem is... The problem is a policewoman called Kirsty Soames who's got it in for Rita. Uh, excuse me. I got the impression that you were in a hurry, complaining when you had to wait. Well, yeah, If you could just keep quiet for a minute so I can talk to Mrs. Sullivan. Oh, well, yes, she will be. It's all right. Because of your age, the rules say you have to renew your licence every three years. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, you were sent a reminder. December 2010. I've just been to check on it. Was I? Well, I don't remember. Well, no, of course you don't. Rita lives at Coronation Street, where the tram came off its tracks, oh. and she spent, I don't know how long, unconscious under a pile of rubble. Did she? Yeah. So maybe she didn't get a post, or she didn't get round to reading it. Well, that's a great pity. Because it means, Mrs Sullivan, you've been driving illegally, with no valid insurance. So you're now looking at a possible ban, and a considerable fine. Thanks, love. I'm going to kill that Kirsty for doing this to you. I did it to Miss Elton. <laughs> no, you didn't, Rita. Don't say that. It doesn't matter what I say. They're going to prosecute me. <laughs> Bye. Well, I'll let you know how I go on. Bye. Do you know, I was really looking forward to seeing Mavis at weekend. Well, can't you go on the train? Well, I could, but it's a fiddle. How long will this ban last? Oh, I've no idea. Or how much they'll fine me. Does this mean you'll have to resit your driving test before you can get your licence back? Oh, I never thought of that. Because that won't be easy, you know. All the years you've been driving, the bad habits you pick up, ignoring <laughs> indicators, forgetting mirrors... Yeah, 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 all right, oh. Norris. And as for the theory test, well, you know, there was one in the paper the other day. I didn't understand half the questions, let alone the answers. Look, I know you're only trying to cheer me up, but I just wish you wouldn't. Have you heard any more? No. Oh, this is just unbelievable. Mm. Because I was all set to go to the lakes at weekend. I've just had to cancel it with Mavis. Well, I could drive, yeah. What, and then drive all the way back down? And on Sunday, drive all the way back up to collect me? Yeah. I don't think so. Well, I haven't seen that Kirsty. She's been avoiding me. Just wait till I get my hands on it. Look, her. it was me who was speeding and me who hadn't renewed her licence. How can it be her fault? I know it was. Well, if she is responsible... Which she is. It can only be because you keep riling her with your childish outburst. Which means you're just as much to blame as she is. Whoa! Oh, you are here. You know how to keep your head down when there's trouble. I'll give you that. Are you bleeding about now? Next time you get your bent mate to screw me over, make oh, sure please. it's me. If you're getting at somebody else. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about, but what else is new? I got Paul for doing 33 in a 30 zone. And? And it wasn't me who was driving. It was Rita. So she was the one who got done. And the licence was out of date, so she got a fine as well. And she might even get a ban. Well, I'm sorry. You're, so you're sorry? You organised it. If I was trying to get at you, why would I go for Rita? That was your brain-dead plod mates getting the wrong person. She might never drive again now, and it's all because of you. Number one, I had nothing to do it with this. It has everything to do with Number you. Number two, I really like Rita. If she forgot to renew her licence. Yeah, and uh, you know why that is? It's because when the reminder came, she was lying half dead under the rubble of her flat after the tram came off the viaduct. Yeah. Rita is an old woman who's done nothing wrong he has got caught in our crossfire and it's freaking her out. Look, I'll say this one last time. I had nothing to do with any of this. You liar. Oh, just get off my gate. Just crawl back under your stone and stay there and I might just think about it. Wow, somebody's in a good mood. Yeah, because of your girlfriend. She done now. Oh, not done knowing you. You know that speeding ticket they dropped on Rita, right? Well, the police found out she hadn't renewed a licence, so not only is she going to get fined, She's probably going to get banned. It's got nothing to do with Kirsty. Oh, she's always behind the scenes, pulling the strings. You're paranoid. She's trying to destroy me. I'm not being paranoid thinking that. Well, why would she go for Rita, then? They made a mistake. They were after me. Yes, actually, you do look a lot alike. Hard to tell your past some days. They went on the car. Yeah, yeah. Hey, and you should be backing me up. You think she's as bonkers as I do. I said you should go easy on her, actually. Yeah, well, you're so think she's crackers. Hiya. Ask Mavis to come here for a change. Nah, too many memories of Derek, her late husband. You need a break, though. <laughs> oh. Don't, Rita. I feel bad enough as it is. And how do you think I feel? Yeah, but it's not me who's doing it. So you keep saying. 
How does that help me? It doesn't. Exactly. <gasps> well, all my favourite people in one room. It must be my lucky day. I was really sorry to hear about what happened. Do you know, you two should start a competition to see who feels worst. Bar a toffee for the winner. No, no, listen to Aria. I've sorted it all out. How do you mean? I had a word with the desk sergeant you spoke to and I told him about the tram crash and why he never got the reminder. It changes everything. How? You won't get fined, you won't lose your licence, you won't even have any points put on. Really? Just apply to have it renewed, you can do it online. You'll be on the road in no time. And I don't have to reset my test? No, a lot of people get that wrong. As long as you're medically fit and you renew your licence every three years, you're laughing. <sighs> I don't know what to say. It's brilliant, isn't it? It is. Oh, thank you ever so much. My pleasure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just way too convenient. No way could she have fixed it that easy. Oh, I don't know. In my experience, it's all a nudge and a wink in the police game. Well, I'm just glad it's all over. Yeah, for some, maybe. Look, the girl has apologised. Oh, what do we do? Oh, come on, love, you're bigger than this. Dennis is right. I think you've just got off on the wrong foot. I'm not being funny, but it's slightly more complicated than that, Rita. Nonsense, a clash of personalities, that's all. Two strong women under one roof. It's always a recipe for trouble. I don't believe this. Right, Kirsty hates my guts. Or she may be slightly intimidated by you. Yeah, right. Look, take her for a drink. Talk. Trust me, you'll find a common ground. I'll fill out please, and another one of those. Come right up. Look, I completely respect everything you do in that, but the police force is crying out for a bloke like me. He watches too much Rookie Blue him. Sorry, just hope that you got the right personality. Well, I completely disagree, so... Now, what? this guy is a different matter. Seriously? Well, hang on a minute. Let's just rewind this. There is no way Kirk is going to be better 5 than me. <laughs> Tortoise in the hair, I'm afraid. See your types all Hollywood. Style over substance. Ah, uh -huh. she's got your number. Now, Kirk, on the other hand, is methodical. Knows how to pace himself. Methodical? I well, like that. She's saying that you're slow, mate. Well, I think it's brilliant. She's certainly got away with the fellas. <laughs> Another round, please, Stella. And whatever Tina's having. I'm fine, thanks. Hey? Don't be like that. Yeah, don't be like that. I'm not feeling too good. You did it on purpose. To yourself. No, it's nothing. Oi, have this conversation. Talk to me. Just got it the way it's worked out with Tina and everything. Yeah, well, she's your friend. I can't understand how it's gone downhill so fast. You and me both. I'm serious, this is not like her. She's a top girl. Let's just be me then. Look, don't take this the wrong way, but are you sure there's nothing that you could have said that just confused the situation or...? How do you mean? Oh, I don't know. You're never short of a comeback, are you? Excuse me? Well, have you know I've bent over backwards for that girl? If I've ever spoken out of turn, it's only because she's provoked me. Yeah, all right, all right. I'm not taking sides. You could have fooled me. I'm caught in the middle here. For the last time. I did not, repeat, did not have Rita's car stopped or tip off any flaming store detective. Satisfied? That's all I needed to wear. Mm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Put you a poorly. Shouldn't you be tucked up in bed? I picked up as soon as I left the pub. Must have been something in the air, but thanks for worrying them. Right. I'm going for a bath. Listen to the 40. We used to just. You know what? Too tired to even care. You've got nerve. Because of you, he's not even comfortable in his own home. Er, uh, I seem to recall everything was fine before you showed up. Only because you were able to walk all over him. I know your type. You like to dangle men on a string while not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're his guardian angel, not to mention Rhea's. Oh, here we go. And cue the paranoia. You went to an awful lot of trouble just to be popular. I put in a good word, nothing more. That's simple. That's simple. Thinking about it, you might be telling the truth after all. See, I don't think you're all that. Officer Soames. Really? Yeah. Setting me up. Having Rita's licence and then taking over. See, that that takes planning. Authority. That's not you. You're more of a, uh, a wannabe cop like our Tommy. All mouth, no truncheon. Pretty sad as it goes. 
Don't you walk away from me. Oh, what? I'm not scared of you. I mean, not yet. That store detective. The old dear. Just warnings. Keep pushing and I'm going to have to start getting creative. Maybe turn my attention to somebody who matters. Tyrone. What are you doing here? I, I, I thought you were going for a bath. Fancied a beer. What happened to oh, babe? I was just... Threatening my friend. Yeah. I heard. I don't know what... Not two hours ago, I asked you about Rita. And you looked me in the eye. And I wasn't lying. Well, then why say it to Tina? I, I was digging her out. Come on, you know what she's like with me. I wanted to take her down a couple of notches. I don't know if it was real, though. Well, it sounded real. It sounded more than real. In fact, it sounded seriously messed up. I, I admit, I lost it. I shouldn't have, but I did. I'm not proud of myself. <laughs> For goodness sake, I'm, I'm a trained police officer and she can still push my buttons. Why is it always about her and not about you? I made a stupid mistake, all right? I, I shot my mouth off, because unlike certain people, I don't pretend to be perfect. Well, I don't expect you to be perfect, but I expect you to tell me the truth. This is unbelievable. She has so worked this situation. You can't keep blaming Tina. Ty, she's playing us against each other. This isn't about any setup. It's about breaking us up. Look, I can see where this is headed. So I'm going to make it dead simple. Either she leaves tonight or I do. Who's it going to be? Everything. I think so. Thought you had more stuff. I hate goodbyes. Well, then don't say it. If you don't say it, it's not true. It's too late. No, it's not. You love me, don't even try and deny it. Doesn't mean anything now. You can't just give up on us. Do you think this is easy for me? Have you any idea how hard it was for me to trust again? Mollet left me with almost no inside here. And yet I still gave it all. I never meant to hurt you. I've been hurt before. This is different. I don't know, maybe we went too fast or something. Not me. I've waited all my life for someone like you. See ya. No hard feelings. I'm sorry, Ty. I should have believed you. Hey, it doesn't matter now. Chance. How desperate's that, eh? Once a mug, always a mug. Come here. Morning. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Love you too. No, I thought it was Tyrone. Not seen him, have you? Uh, I think he must still be sleeping. I'm making a baker sandwich before we go to work. Yeah, I've got a feeling he might not be that hungry. He's always hungry. You don't think he's avoiding me, do you? Because I cursed it? Yeah. Why? Not your fault, is it? Yeah, I'm not sure he sees it like that. Look, right, he's coming, change the subject. Uh, um, Batman would would beat Spider-Man in a fight any day, and, and on top of that, he's got a killer set of wheels. I don't know Spider-Man had a car. Oh, <laughs> there you go. You don't have to pretend. What? Like nothing's happened. Well, we didn't know whether you wanted to talk about it. Talk about what? It's hardly news, is it? Me falling for someone who's a liar. Look, look get some food, Daniel. We'll go over to work, eh? Might take your mind off things. Yeah, that's what I've come to tell you. I'm not going to work today. I'm just going to go back to bed. I made you a bacon sandwich. Well, you eat it. I'm not hungry. You're not in the Rovers today. They are. Hey, um, maybe we could be do something together. No. Well, hang on. You haven't even heard my suggestions yet. Go on then. Okay. Um, we could go into town for a drink. No. See you, Phil. No. Ten pin bowling. No offence, but I'm not really in the mood for company. <laughs> That's Kirsty's t-shirt. Oh. It must have got mixed up in the washing, sorry. You know what, I'll best call her and I'll see if she wants it back. Uh, no, don't do it. She's giving me phone back. It's a T-shirt, she can't live without it. Yeah, I know it's just a T-shirt. I just miss her. Bet you think I'm stupid, don't you, for wanting her back? Well, you didn't see it when it was just the two of us, you know. She was kind and funny and gentle. A liar. You can't... 
be with someone who you don't trust high. We both know that. Look, do yourself a favour and forget about her. See Tyrone. He doesn't want to see you. Whatever's happened between me and him. Uh, in case you've forgotten, you dragged me and Rita into your psycho world. And even if you didn't, he's still a mate and I'll do one. You're very protective for someone who's just a mate. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? I've seen the way you look at him. You want him for yourself. That's <laughs> what this is really about. Yeah, what can I say? I, you're right. You're right. I have been secretly looking after Tyrone for months. I mentally undress him when he's wearing those greasy overalls. I can't help it. You think this is funny? No, but I think you're hysterical. Uh, you're not going in there. Who's gonna stop me? You? Try me. Stop. No! Pack it in with you. What's going on? Mouth on a stick here won't let me see Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, well, if he wants to see you, I'll speak to you, he'll call you. No, he won't, because he deleted your number. Now get the message. No one's around here. This isn't over. What are you doing, winding her up? Oh, she's all talk. She won't be back. Not knowing she wasn't Tyrone isn't interested. I hope you're right. And not just for his sake. I was watching that. Tough. I'm taking you into town for a curry, my treat. Don't want a curry. Well, you need to get out the house, and I'm not taking no for an answer. Stand there all day, I'm not moving. I'll sing. Knock yourself out. Memory, all alone in the moonlight. I can smile at the old days. I was beautiful then. I remember. Right, right. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> you win. I usually do. Come on. There we go. Oh, coat. Right, put this on. Come on, it's freezing. There we go. Keys. What? Well, I'm driving. You've had a drink. Come on. You're going to call me out and all that. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Come on. I love being kidnapped. Oh, it's hardly kidnap, is it, taking you for a curry? Against me will. I know you're upset about Kirsty, but you did the right thing. I swear to God, if I ever see her face again, it'll be... Oh, I don't believe this. It. It's a police car following us. What? You're not even doing 30? Oh, they're flashing the lights. They want you to pull over. Oh, no, they do. Well, what are you doing? Look who's driving. She doing following us? I don't know, and I don't care. We'll pull over. No chance. I've had enough of it for one day. You spoke to her? She came around the house before looking for you, and I told her to get lost. Why? Because she's a head case, and this, this is harassment. Now what are you doing? Going to the police station and get the side once and for all. Just pull over, you. This is mental. Guess what? So she. Maybe we've got it wrong. Maybe she just wants to talk well, to she us. She can do that at the police station. Look, we're nearly there. Red light. What? Red light. <laughs> OK, the good news is there doesn't seem to be anything broken, so can I just ask you to tell me your names and addresses, if you can remember them? Yeah, it's our own dogs down Coronation Street. Um, Tina McIntyre, you're living in. That's good, very good. How's Kirsty? Sorry? She was in the other car. She's being looked after now. I need you to stay still. I need to go and see her. Ty. Oh, no. No. We're out of jam. Oh, I'm not for sticks and barge on it. I can nip to Dev's if you want. No, it's all right. Morning. Morning. You sleep well? Not really. No, me neither. <sighs> they won't tell me how she is. Don't tell me you rang the hospital. Yeah, of course I have. I'm worried sick. They won't tell me anything because I'm not a relative. Tyrone, she could have killed us. Who cares what happens to her? Ty, do you want some uh, tea and toast, mate? There's something wrong with me. Well, get your clothes on. I'll take you back to the hospital. No, I mean I'm thick. People tried to tell me what she was like, but I won't believe them. Uh, 
Don't beat yourself up about it. Yeah, I'll get it. When I found out about Molly and Kevin, I thought, no woman's ever going to make a fool out of me again. Oh, Tommy, I've just heard about the accident. Can you tell me how Tina and Tyrone are? Come in and see for yourself. Oh, then. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank goodness for that. But I've not learned anything ever. Not a thing. Well, this is a fine kettle of fish, isn't it? Look at you both, bruised and battered. How are you doing? I'll live. It's got bruised ribs and uh, a bumped head, but apart from that. <laughs> Do you want a cuppa? Oh, yes, please. Uh, no sugar, love. Thank you. Oh, Tina, love. Oh, I must say, it's good to see you in the land of the living. When I heard you'd been in an accident. Oh, about if you like. But what actually happened? It was cursed her. She crashed into the back of us. She never? Yeah. Me and Ty driving his car. She started following us. What would she want to do with that? Flashing her lights, trying to make us pull over. Oh, my word. So, uh, put my foot down. Well, why didn't you stop and ask her what she wanted? Well, why should I? I had nothing wrong. But, but I was on my way to the police station to report her, let them deal with her. I knew it'd end in tears, all this fighting and carrying on. It's not my fault. Did I tell her? What did I tell you? It's six of one and half a dozen of the other. Anyway, what about Kirsty? How's she doing? Well, I don't know. They won't tell me. I'm going to go to hospital. I, I stay well clear about it. Yeah, too right. I can't. I just really need to see her. Oi! Must be resting. Yeah, well, one does have to use a loo from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> How come every time my ribs hurt, you pull that face? <laughs> Just can't stand the thought you've been in pain. Mmm, you soft beggar. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when they told me you'd been in a crash. You start to think the worst, don't you, when someone tells you that? I suppose you do, yeah. Started making all kinds of deals in my head, you know, like. Please let it be okay. I promise I'll be a better person. I don't know what I was making a deal with. I don't even believe in God. Oh, that'll be him now. <laughs> Come to give you a slap for dissing him. I'm here to see Tina McIntyre and Tyrone Dobbs. Is the right address? Yeah, uh, Tyrone's not in at the moment, but Tina is. Come on. Morning. Morning. Tina McIntyre. I need to take a statement about the accident. Well, for a start, it wasn't an accident. Kirsty Soames was chasing us and put our lives in danger on purpose. And don't believe everything she says because she's a total liar. I take it she's been blaming everything on me. We haven't spoken to her yet. Oh, and another thing, while you're here, I'd like to make an official complaint. That mad cow has been harassing me for months. Stick that in your statement. Kirsty. How are you? I'm surprised you care. Of course I do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> For everything. What was she thinking, chasing us like that? It was total madness. I was desperate to speak to you. I'd phoned and phoned, but you wouldn't pick up. And then, then I called round, but Tina wouldn't let me in. And... She was trying to protect me. You don't need protecting from me. Oh, I didn't want to speak to you. You lied to my face. Making me think that it was Tina in the wrong and all this time... I should not go. Tyrone, please! Don't go. And I, I know it's over, I know that. I just... Please, just... Sit with me for a while. I know I've behaved badly, but it's because I've never felt this way about anyone before. I've never loved anyone the way I love you. Never. I'm dead ordinary. Women don't go mental over blokes like me. They say I'm cute, they want me to be the friend. They don't get all possessive and passionate. Well, I did, and I'm sorry. I just couldn't bear the thought of losing you. You weren't going to lose me. 
I was going nowhere. I loved you. All these feelings were just so overwhelming. It, whenever I saw you with Tina... I'd... I've told you a million times, she's just a mate. She's gorgeous. Yeah, and so are you. Hi, Kirsty. How are you feeling? Not so bad. I've uh, got the results of your test. Would you mind just giving us a moment? I'd like to stay, if you don't mind. Well, the good news is you're free from any internal injuries. No bleeding, no damage. Everything's fine. But we did find something. You're pregnant. Congratulations. Being well, we should be able to discharge you later on this afternoon. Can I just ask, you are sure about the pregnancy? Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. I'll arrange for you to have a scan before you leave, just to check that everything's as it should be. Couldn't remember if you said tea or coffee, so I've got your soup. You didn't know anything. I'm as shocked as you are. I don't want to pressurise you, but... Where's this leave us? I will. Hey! What do you think you're doing? I'm going to fix this dodgy handbrake, aren't I? So you're supposed to be taking it easy. Who cares? What, something happened? Ty, what's up, mate? Just leave me be, yeah? Mate. Hi, right, mate. Here he is, Daddy Daycare. How's he getting on the clinic? Yeah, fine. But the birds were throwing themselves at you, weren't they? Birds love a single bloke with a baby. Yeah, I wish. Should have seen Jack, though. Had a right strop. Shouting, screaming, chucking himself all over the floor. All right, chip off the old block, eh? Look, you can take the mic all you want, but nothing's going to wipe this smile off my face today. How come? Well, my lad reached his first major milestone today. Oh, don't tell me. First pint in the Rovers. Ah, yeah, better than that. For the first time, he said the words, Daddy! Oh, that's right, we'll be knows it. Hey, I'm sorry, Ty, I didn't know you was there. Yeah, right. Look, I didn't. You was in a car crash yesterday. I thought you'd be stopping at home. Look, mate, honestly, I'm sorry. You're sorry. no mate of mine. Ty, just chill out, will you? Look, did he get bumped on the head in that crash yesterday? All right, uh, whoa, whoa, all right, you need a pint. Mate. You need a pint. Come on, come on. And if it was... I can't just sit here drinking. I've got to get to the hospital. Whoa. Ty, I thought you said Kirsty was OK. Well, she either is or she isn't. I found out something this morning. The doctor told... What? Come on, Ty. She's pregnant. I didn't know what to do when I found out. I, I didn't know what to do. <sighs> Nightmare. So I just liked it. Do you feel who could blame you? Yeah, I can't just leave it like that, though, can I? What's I've ever wanted me is my own family. A, a wife and kids. Yeah, but come on, Ty, mate. You know what she's like. Yeah, but this could be it. Maybe I'm being given a second chance. A chance of being happy again. How can I walk away from that, eh? She's not. Well, she's lied about everything else. Tyrone was there when the doctor broke the news. He can't let her trap him like this. I mean, he can't. His life will be over. I don't think he sees it like that. Tell me he's not up for the idea. He's confused. T, this has been a massive shock to him. I need to see him. Where whoa, is whoa, it? Whoa, he's at the hospital. Right, we need to get down there. Come on. T, stay put, will no, you? She's going to talk him round, Tommy. I don't think she will. Not this time. He's seen what she's like. There's no way he's going to fall for all that bull again. No way. It's a mess! Excuse me, can you tell me where Kirsty is? Kirsty saw him. She was in that bed there. If you give me a minute, I can go and find out for you. Oh, there you are. I didn't know where you'd gone. I went to another department for a couple of tests. Something bad had happened. I thought I'd never see you again. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just a bit... I know. I can't blame you for legging it. Shock, that's all. Me too. 
You know this is what I've always wanted. A family, I mean. You know, that's all that really matters. But... I know. You want children, just not with me. Can't say I blame you. I didn't say that. It's complicated. We've just split up. This is the last thing we need. Tell me about it. I always thought I'd have children one day, but not so soon, and certainly not like this. There is one thing I'm sure of, though. I, I can't... You know... I couldn't get rid of it. No, no, I wouldn't expect this it. It's yours. And if this baby turns out to be even half as lovely as you are... Misery is me, Tina again. Um, you give me a ring when you get this. Okay, bye. She's gonna think you're as weird as she is. Well, we can't just let her talk him round. I mean, come on, I can't do much, can I? You better get to the hospital, try and talk some sense into him. Thank you. All oh, right, give me back. Nope. <laughs> Tommy. <Some joke>. Careful. <laughs> Look, if you want, I'll go to the hospital see if you can find Tyrone. But only if you promise to get some sleep. It's just a bit, you know, like last night, every time I dropped off, I had this dream that I was back in the car with her coming after us. Yeah, are you safe now? So tired. I'm like aching over. But what about Tyrone? You as soon as you sleep. Okay. Right? Yeah. I hate the thought that you have it in you to look me in the eye all sincere and lie to me just like Molly did. Please don't compare me to her. She was unfaithful. I'd never do that to you. Never. My trouble is I love you too much. I let my jealousy get the better of me. But I know I, I can change. I don't see how. I suppose if we did have a child together, I'd feel safe, secure. That there'd be no need to be jealous then. Ty, we can make this work. I know we can. We'd be so happy together. You, me, and our baby. This is just too much. I can't think straight. I'm sorry, Anna. Tyrone. There she is. Oh, he, they couldn't tell her one way or the other. They, there's not much to see yet. <laughs> Time is amazing. I could see his little heartbeat. A little life that we've created. You and me. I hate this place. <sighs> no one likes hospitals, mate. Brings it all back to me. Night of the tram crash. Was it static when Jack pulled through? I thought, I've lost Molly. But I've still got him. I've still got my boy. It doesn't do to dwell on these things, Ty. Then I met Kirsty and I thought, this is it. Suddenly I've got a life again, a future. You don't still feel something for her, do you? After everything she's done. But you think I'm stupid. No, I don't. Who knows? She made you up here once, maybe she could do it again. Yeah, and she's promised me she could change. Yeah? Yeah. She really loves me. She loves me. And now we're having a baby. Look, you go for it, mate. Do you think? Yeah. She makes you happy. Tommy? No, it's me. Tommy's gone for a pint. Right, I've left you like a gazillion messages. Please tell me that crazy cow ain't taught you. You've got to be kidding me. I know I'm the last person you want to see, but. Yeah, too right. What should it be, Nick? Tell me she's come round to pick the rest of her stuff up, and, and then she's going to do one. We've talked it through, and we've decided we're going to give it a go. 
You're making a huge mistake, Ty. We're really happy about the baby and everything. I just want to say I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, that's all right then. The way I behaved was unforgivable, I know that, but... I hope in time you can... Oh, save it for the investigation. What? I've reported you for harassment. See, Ty might be uh, a pushover, but I'm not. The crew will be over. I'm finished. Good. You should have thought about that before you started picking on me. You was just as bad. You've been horrible to Kirsty too. Making me out to be the bad guy again. You've got a very short memory, Tyrone. Kirsty's admitted she's made mistakes. Why can't you just do the same and drop this whole harassment thing? She nearly ran us off the road. That isn't a mistake. That's an act of a mad woman. She could have killed us, Tyrone. Well, we wouldn't have crashed if you'd have just pulled over. What? Why the hell should I? She was chasing us for absolutely no reason whatsoever. You put us in danger. You could have killed my unborn child. Oh, I bet it's not even yours. You know, she could tell you anything and you're stupid enough to believe it. I feel sorry for you, Tyro. Honestly, I, I really do. You're so desperate to recapture your past. Don't no, say no, that. You are so desperate to get back everything you had with Molly that you put up with anything. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have come back. You're going nowhere. This is your home now. Our family home. Right. That's me. I'm out of here. But you're not well. You, you shouldn't even be walking. Oh, you care. At least wait a few days until you're a bit stronger. She's trapped you, mate. And you're so sad and pathetic that you can't even see it. Okay. I just wait to hear. Thanks for letting me know. What's up? So stupid. Well, it's not the baby, is it? Oh no, don't worry. That was work. That complaint Tina made. I'm suspended while they look into it. I could lose my job. You've got to be kidding me. This whole tit for tat thing with her. I can't believe I let it get this far. She's just as much blame as you. I know, but I'm a police officer. I should be better than that. Being a cop is all I've ever wanted. My dad used to tell me my brother tells of being in the force. Couldn't wait till he's school to get started. Hey. Look on the bright side, eh? We've still got the baby. <laughs> and, for what it's worth, you've still got me. More than you can imagine. Mm. I'm so sorry I've been such a mad cow. All in the past. I've got more important things to think about now. So, have you found your calling? There's no dear. Not for someone my age. Why would anyone give an old codger like me a job when there's so many kids out there looking for the same? Hello, love. Did you sleep well? Yeah. Oh, somebody's not full of the joys of spring. Still upset about this row you've had with Tyrone? No. I'm upset that I haven't got tickets for the Olympics, but... Hey, there's no need to take that tone. I'm sorry, Dennis. No. Look, why don't you talk to him? You've been friends for a long time. Good friends. Well, that's why I hate the fact he's so blind when it comes to Kirsten. Mm. The nutcase tried to run me and him off the road. She could have killed us. Love can make nutcases of us all sometimes. <laughs> True enough. And now that she's pregnant, mm. well, that's going to change everything. And so, because of this complaint Tina's made, Kirsty could end up losing a job over it. Yeah, it won't come to that, though, will it? It might do. And the stress of it all, well, that's the last thing she needs right now. Let him tell me repair your car. Yeah, why not? He's nearly qualified. Hey, do I get a special badge in that, like the Scouts? <laughs> I know something you are qualified for. Brew. Cheers, I'm gagging. Can't believe how long that last job took. Everything all right here? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Listen, Ty, I'm sorry about banging on about Jack yesterday. I wasn't thinking. Forget about it. Oh, he's just the only bright spot in my life at the minute. Sophie's not talking to me. Sally's mooning on about Frank, and to top it all, I got my divorce papers in the post this morning. Well, when things hit rock bottom, there's only one way they can go. Trust me, you're talking to the expert. Everything's all right with you, isn't it? I mean, Kirsty's OK after the crash. Yeah, she's fine. She's better than fine. She's pregnant. You're kidding. <laughs> no. We found out at the hospital. It's mine. <laughs> I'm made up for you, mate. I really am. Hey, congratulations. Cheers, Gav. <laughs> Please, Tina. I'm not surprised to see you in here. 
but it's a nightmare at home with her being back. I just came for a pint. Uh, mind if I join you? Free country, mate. Pint? Yeah, okay. Uh, the only decent thing was side owns news. You know, things have been lousy for him. Thanks to me, mostly, but I've got things are looking up. Another pint? Ooh, absolutely. Two pints, is it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, Tyra and Kevin kind of made up today. Oh. Yeah. They agreed to put what's in the past in the past. Yeah, well, it's Ty's future that I'm bothered about. Look, whether either of us like it or not, Ty's chosen Kirsty. She's pregnant with his kid. She says it's his. Oh, Tina, this is one battle you're not going to win. Can you imagine how he felt when he found out Jack wasn't his? And now he's got a chance of a new start. Yeah, I know all that, and that's why I don't want to see him get hurt again. It's a police who suspended Kirsty after the convert. Well, good. She could have killed us. She's pregnant. She's worried about getting sacked, and she might get prosecuted. Do you really want to put her through all that? Couldn't have timed that better, could we, eh? Me coming in as you're going out. When we're going for a takeaway, we'll be back. Well, I'm only collecting a few things, so uh, I shan't be staying. Nothing to worry about then, have we? No need to get me anything, thanks. Oh, you all right? I don't mean to disturb, I'm just uh, collecting a few of my things. Yeah, well, look, you know what we were saying about letting Kirsty off the hook and that? What you said. Yeah, but what do you think? I mean, they're going to have enough on the plate with a baby and that. That we want? Yeah. I'm going to come look after you. You don't have to worry about us. See, but I just think it'd be a really nice present if you just went to the cop shop, told him, oh, it was a big mistake and you wanted to forget about it. It would. But see, I only do nice presents for people that I like. Tina, you are a really, really nice person. Where'd you get that idea from? You're just trying your hardest not to be. Well, I tried to be nice, but all I got was a load of aggro off of... Sorry, Ty. A bully in a uniform. No, it's OK. Say what you like. <sighs> Look, you two don't get on. We get it. Well, I spotted. But she's pregnant, Tina. And Ty's the dad. Big mistake. Right, she's here now, so just... All I'm saying is be nice. Right, and all I'm saying is... It was nice sharing with you guys. See you around. See you, Tina. You got the nosh, then? What she have to say for herself? Ah, uh, nothing. Not that you care. <laughs> Why am I even asking? No idea. She's got her life. I've got mine. Let's just try and keep them separate in future. You two. See you then. Bye. Who's that on the phone? Big Sue from the station. Hey, you'll never guess what. Um, they've made your chief inspector like off time. What's it? Evil. Suspect? No, they haven't. But the even better news is, your Tina's changed the statement. It's not my Tina. It's not anybody's Tina. She's alone to herself at home. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, what, what, what do you mean, though, that she's changed it? Oh, don't get me wrong. I'll still be investigating for the crash, all that's ongoing, but... <clears throat> you know how I feel about this. Oh, she's changed the statement. But what? I'm not suspended anymore. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? I mean, that's what you've been hoping for. I can go back to work, though they'll probably have me on the desk job for now. Yeah, well, that's OK. It's probably for the best, you know, with the baby and everything. Mm -hmm. I didn't join the force so I could sit on my backside all day long answering the phone. If I wanted to do that, I could have worked in a call centre. Well, it's better than nothing, isn't it? It's better than being in some cute the social. I know, you're right. And I know I shall be over the moon, sorry. Has this got anything to do with you? I had a word, like. Thanks, Tommy. Thank you. Rock on, Tommy. Mm. <laughs> you all right? I am. What can I get you? Um, pint for me and an orange juice. Orange juice, please. You're right up. Tina, um, I just wanted to say thank you for uh, changing the story with the police. I really appreciate it. I did do it for you, I did it for him. Well, we both think it was really cool of you, don't we? Really, really cool. That's me all over, isn't it? Coolness personified. I must be mad. Now, I know we got off on the wrong foot, you and me, but I was thinking maybe it's time we let bygones be bygones and start afresh. Well, mate, 
nothing about that. Right, let me, um, let me get one thing straight, Kirsty. Okay. I don't like you. I've never liked you. And unless someone whacks me round the head and I have a complete personality change, I'm never going to like you. You've made that clear. So if it's a new best mate you're after, you better sit down, get your wool out, and knit yourself a glow. I don't knit. Maybe you should start. 490, please.